So here we go, guys. This is the Auto Fix Evo Ultra Scan unboxing and a brief description of all the components. So this is the tablet. It's a 10.4 inch. It runs on Android 11, which is excellent. And used it briefly and it is very quick and fast. I will boot it up while we wait here. And let that go. This is the actual PCI slash J2534 interface module. And up in here is where everything is stored, the cables and whatnot. Um, this is the interface cable that plugs into the J2534. Once this is plugged into your OBD2 port, that becomes your wireless dongle and will interface with the handheld period. This tool is extremely quick. And it's telling me it wants to update, click to update, tap again to open, swipe up to open. All right, so I, I, I'm new to it and all, but I've been using Autel tools for a very long time. So it has the same interface and I'm very used to that and I find it really easy to use. Today I went in and I did um, some diagnostics on a, Honda Civic that I had to do brakes all around. So this has the emergency parking brake disabled built into the scanner. So I used it today for that, but I gotta say that it is a very fast bi-directional scanner that can do ECM programming along with coding period. And it functions great. It has, um, you can buy an external battery tester, which I hope to get. I have a bore scope, actually. I will do another video on that, and that plugs right into this. And you use your maxi video for that. And I gotta say, that tool is fantastic, period. And it's very user-friendly and easy to use, period. On the next part of this video, you will see me inside the Honda Civic using the tool. Autofix Evo Ultra Scan. Got it from Madison and Patrick. This is one of the best tools I think on the market because it is powered by Autel and Autel is one of the leaders in the industry of car diagnostics and the interface is just great. Very quick and easy and so I got the module plugged in on the floor and I'm just gonna hit connect. Yep, I gotta accept some things. This is the first use of this tool. Repair order, I don't have one, but you could add, add repair orders to it. And so we're going to diagnostics. I'm gonna look for Honda, Jeep, blah, blah, blah. These are all the cars that are logged in. We're getting to Honda somewhere. I can make it easy, but I can go to Asian cars. That should help a lot. There's Honda. Um, it's asking again, standalone diagnostic, because I'm not linked up to my business yet. So, wow, that was really fast. It already got into the system. I'll have it read the VIN number. Just, that was very fast. Some of the other tools are just not as fast. They work just the same, but just not as fast. Okay, I'll hit okay. We've already got the VIN number and everything. I'll hit USA. Man, this is really fast. I like this. Very quick compared to all the other tools that I've used. Okay, I could probably get right into diagnostics. Wow, that's pretty quick. We'll do an auto scan. That's not what I have the car for. I have to do a brake job on this and it has electronic parking brake. So enable. In order to disable that, you have to get into the system and disable it. So this is what's gonna be my first job with this tool. It's doing a whole system analyzing. It'll come back with a report. There you go, there's topology, guys. Next step, zoom in and out, okay. That gives you a 
a, a whole topology of of the gateway module and all of the other modules into the car. This is new to me. I love it. Um, I'm going to escape from here for a minute. I'm going to go into hot functions. I got to go into electronic parking brake. So I go into there. And yeah, this tool is great. I, I always support Autel and that's the only tool I really use and only want to use. And I got a great offer on testing and reviewing this tool. So here I am putting something together for the guys. Brake pad maintenance mode. And if you listen, it's probably gonna retract the motor, so use for the rear brake maintenance. Okay, enter brake pad maintenance mode. Listen up, guys. Check the real volume, okay. You can hear the motors retracting. Okay, that was pretty cool, so I'll hit okay. Now, I'll be back, because I'm back from doing the brake job and now it is time to put the rear brake calipers back into normal mode so it, I guess we can hit that button it says check that the following conditions are fulfilled release the parking brake run the battery voltage stop the vehicle press stop right press ok that's it pads was moved into original position the function but this procedure is now finished that's pretty cool Pretty simple, I heard a little buzzing noise. So I guess that goes, puts them back into maintenance position. We can check that by putting on the parking brake. I have to put it in reverse, all right, the car won't move. So that job is all done. I gotta say, I like this tool a lot. I'm happy that Madison and Pat gave me the opportunity to test this tool. It is what I know and it's just more advanced. I mean, it's got all these brake bleeds, suspension, throttle, fuel injector, you know, all of the hot functions. And I can escape, go back, control unit service, auto scan, uh, vehicle profile, we know what that is. Uh, control units, they go into engine and we can hit some live data, I guess. Yep, let's see, active tests. Jump into that for a minute. There's so many EVAP radiator fans, AC clutch, VTC. Um, this stuff a turbo in here. Uh, readiness monitors, live data. Live data is always something we always use, and it's pretty quick. This unit is fast, much faster than any other scan tool I've used. Gives you all the values. You can uh, you can pull up. Uh, Let's see, um, oxygen sensor, we'll see. We can pull it up as a graft, which is always one of the better things to do when you check an oxygen sensor usage and see how it moves. I think this might be, this is O2 sensor too, so it doesn't move as much. But you guys get the point. I gotta say this tool is great, the only negative, if I got to give it a negative, which is no big deal, it is wired to a wireless J2534 VCI. The other scanners come with a much smaller VCI, which is, like I said, no big deal. But this tool is wonderful. It's great. It works awesome. I'm happy with it. And it comes with two years of free updates. So I suggest you get with Pat Digi or Madison Jackson and get yourself an Oto Fix series of tools. Period. They're wonderful. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not much for making.